All right, well, I realized I never really got to do a really official video, um, just a ride along. I sort of did one when I was first getting the turbo set up, but definitely didn't do an in-depth video on what it's like riding, driving this basically stock ALH with a turbo off a 5.2 liter little semi truck. So figured I'd give you guys a more in-depth video of this and so let's go for a drive. All right, so just a quick overview of the dash here. There's a lot to look at, but um, I moved the, the speedometer up here so you can see. It's not near as impressive seeing acceleration digital. You don't really get to feel the, the dial moving, but it is fun to watch the boost at least. Um, so you, you can pretty well see what everything is here. Um, you'll see it pretty well runs about thousand degrees when I'm accelerating it'll get when I really get on it it'll get up to 12 or 14 but not much higher and um, anyway you can see the boost here we're still set at about 36 pounds so it pretty well pegs this gauge out and that's really the important stuff I'd say uh, my intake air temps let's see it is 80 degrees outside so they're usually running I don't know 20 to 30 degrees higher and I'll see as much of a probably a hot a 50 degree rise sometimes a little more when I'm pulling it real hard but anyway <clears throat> we'll go for a ride and just show you guys how this thing responds just normal driving all right so my camera's wanting to be pretty wiggly on this mount I'm gonna go ahead and just hold it for most of the video but I want to just go through shifting with you guys how smooth the boost comes in and out just normal driving so anyway we'll go ahead and get started here my steering wheel is a little off but you should be able to make out the boost gauge at least have to rev this thing up at all. And your boost is right there. Alright, so just getting on the interstate here. Starting in second. Get right to third where we can make some boost. doesn't take anything to get up to speed with this thing and then so we're still in fourth here if you want to get on it it's it's all there there's more power than you need that's for sure Everybody's worried about diesel RPM and these things being a low RPM engine, but I'll tell you what, just like right now, I'm in third gear, 50 mile an hour, sitting at 3200 RPM, and if I want to take off, got another 40 mile per hour of RPM in one gear and I can just keep going and do it again mainly what I want to show you guys is it's just like any RPM I want I've got boost just like the stock turbo did it's right there I can run low RPMs if I want to there's still boost right there. It's ready to take off. 
So you really don't have to be worried about how big of a turbo you're going to run on these things. And just having this kind of boost range gives you so much acceleration. And I'm never seeing EGTs at all. fifth gear 77 mile an hour and I mean you saw how I took up third gear and this thing will just keep going I don't really know how fast I want to take it but there's definitely no slowing it down and this is all with the AC on I couldn't be more happier with this swap, so anybody wanting some visualizing of this, it's it's pretty sweet. Also, I left out a few things there in the beginning. If you haven't watched any videos on this swap yet, um, this is just a stock, like a 2001 ALH. Um, nothing's been done internally other than head studs. And we are, I'm actually running 240 injectors now. I was running 260s before with an older, with a different engine. And tuning this turbo, we, we bent the rods on it. Um, hitting almost 42 pounds of boost, I think. Um, so, I think we're pretty safe at 36 and we're limiting that to, I, th I, I think it's at 2500 RPM. I might bump it up to 3000 RPM that it limits you to 25 pounds of boost just to be safe um, and be able to run higher horsepower without building, building the engine internally. Um, so anyway, that should be, I don't, it's hard to say. We're we got to be over 200 horsepower with 240s. It's not going to be too much more, but man, it, it sure flies for, for what it is. Um, so I don't know what the torque would be on that either. But if you have driven one of these Toyotas, at least this one, I could barely do 65 mile an hour on the on-ramp trying to merge with people and... If it's clear, I can get it over 80, no problem, now. And it'll it'll hold 100 mile an hour uphill if you want it to. So, it's a huge improvement over the factory engine. And then, I mean, that's just in power alone. The, the MPGs, I haven't seen less than 24, I think. And that's running it real hard. Usually I'm up towards 30 on the highway. I think I could see over 30 miles a gallon, but having the AC is nice. So some of that you got to sacrifice. But anyway, um, that's pretty much the, the extent of it. The, the truck is pretty well original behind the engine. Nothing's been changed there. It's running 410 gears from the V6. And these are about a 32 and a half inch tall tire. Of course, the metric, they got all different kinds of sizes. It's a 285, 65, 18. And yeah, other than that, you guys can go back and check out any other videos on the swap and kind of see how it's, how it's come together. It's been about two years now, but I could not be more happier with this turbo. It is just performing even better than I expected. It is a pretty rare turbo though, so I will probably stick with a 2056 style for other builds just because they're so much easier to come by. But yeah, thanks for watching.